When you look at the Earth from space and you see these repeating patterns and these interesting um, abstract images, there's something that just kind of strikes you about just how beautiful the planet is at every scale. EarthView started as just a passion project of mine. I kind of dorkily would fly around Google Earth just for fun and I would take screenshots of things that I thought looked cool from space. Actually, the process is fairly simple. I feel like I'm just a photographer, but instead of being out in the world, I'm out in the virtual world using Google Earth. Once it started to take off, we collaborated with our friends at UV Labs in Germany. I would consider EarthView art, but we are not the artists. Nature, I would say, is the artist. With EarthView in itself, we don't really follow a strict goal. It's not a product like any other product. We just want people to use it and be inspired by it. So we built our own tool chain that uh, enabled us to really quick browse around, to select images. A good EarthView image is an image that is not obvious in the first place. So you look at it and you have to ask yourself, what, what is this? It started as a collection of photos and a website, and then we built a very popular Chrome extension. It became backgrounds on Android phones. Uh, one of my favorite installations was in 2014. It was featured in Times Square on the world's biggest billboard. We are really excited to release a new version of EarthView. There's a new feature where you can browse images by colors and by regions. When it comes to image quality, we see drastically changed improvements in colors, in resolution. Also, now we can go to basically every place on Earth. Astronauts report that when they go to space, they often have the spiritual moment, that when they see the world sort of from a macro perspective, they have this moment of global oneness. So I hope that when people are experiencing Earthview, it actually just brings a moment of Zen to their day.